Hey y'all, Snoop here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, normally I do videos on ARM systems which are decades and decades old, or maybe just singular decade in case of some, but today I'm gonna, we're going to be having a look at an ARM system which hasn't even been released yet, and that is a copy, which I found on the deepest, darkest parts of the internet, of Windows 11. Now, this isn't like you know, a heavily modified copy of Windows 10 or anything. This is an actual leaked copy of Windows 11 build 21996. And today we're going to be giving it a bit of an install in VirtualBox, because why not? And I mean, it's only going to be a matter of time until the image is uh, gassed from the internet. So, you know, just give people a good look of everything there is to see. <laughs> So, let's get started. So here I have a copy of VirtualBox, which I downloaded like 15 minutes ago. I normally don't do this virtualization stuff anymore. I was originally going to do this video where I copied it to a thumb drive and actually, um, you know, did it on physical hardware, but time is of the essence when it comes to this, I believe. So, there's the ISO, which it's very interesting, the ISO, actually, because if it's actually mounted, it has the same disk label as a copy of Windows 10. So I was a little bit skeptical at first if it was even, if it was just a Windows 10 ISO labeled as Windows 11. But as we start it, we might notice it's not Windows 10 at all. Because, if we have a look, this is the new Windows 11 boot logo. Which, since this is booting off of an NVMe drive, it shouldn't take that long. It's just stunning to me they kept the old installer. Yeah, look. Well, it's kind of boring. <laughs> Same as so, it's been used since... Oh, look at that logo, though! Yeah, I guess they're going with entirely flat this time. So... Oh. Well. This is beta, beta, beta software. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of makes sense it would switch like that. Uh, I don't have a project key. Windows 11 Home. So we're going to go with Windows 11 Pro. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I never thought I would see this. Alright, I thought Windows 10 was going to be the last version of Windows. I thought they was going to update it with builds, which they've been doing for the past... How long was this since 2014? Oh, seven years, goodness. Okay, so... Yeah, there's, like... Windows Pro for... Windows 11 Pro for workstations, Windows 11 Pro. Windows 11 Pro is what most people end up using, so let's go with that. Last updated June 2021. Yes, I accept that. <laughs> okay, so custom install. There is, yeah, one drive with nothing on it. So, I'm just going to go with that. And now it's going to copy. So, this is NVMe to NVMe, so it shouldn't take that long. It's going to be limited basically just by processing power. So, if we come over here. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, we're running, running very slim on the RAM. All right. Hmm. So, wow. I wonder if guest editions will work. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try a lot of stuff with this, because this, this does appear to be Windows 11, so... <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm trying not to be excessive. I'm holding a lot back here, actually. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to skip this part over, because it appears to just be the normal Windows installer that's been in use in 7. So, I'll be right back after it reboots. And here we go. It's going. It's going. It's going. Oh, it rebooted again. Alright. I don't know if I still even need the DVD in the drive. I mean, whenever I would install Windows 10 physically, that's how I would do it. Just leave it in the drive. I don't know if it even accesses it. Oh, look at that. We're getting network activity as well. Whoa. Was that a startup sound? I mean, it was heavily aliased, but... Wow. Okay. So, United States. Okay, this is entirely different. Going for a very, very interesting fluent design look with this. You know, I really don't mind this. What is your keyboard layout? US? I like to... I only have one keyboard. <laughs> 
checking for updates. Whoa. What are you gonna find? Are there updates? Is the update server even running? <laughs> like, <laughs> I might have to disconnect this to the internet because it's like, whoa, 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 you're not supposed to be running that. What? What's going on here? <laughs> Set up for personal use. I am a person, therefore it is personal use. Uh, can I skip? Is this going to be the f offline account? Wow, really? You need additional options to do that? I was really worried there for a second. That was going to be like the first internet connected operating system. So, sign in to enjoy the full range of Microsoft apps and services. So, we're going to go with limited experience because I don't want my Outlook account tied to this thing. Lovely. 420. Yeah, nice. Security question. What was my first pet's name? What's the first name that comes to mind? Uh, Herbert. I don't know why that comes to mind, but I... What's my childhood nickname? What is the name of your oldest cousin? I don't know. It's in city I was born. What is the name of it? That's not how you spell it. Oh, these. Lovely. So, yeah. You can have this. You might need the diagnostic information. This thing needs polishing. <laughs> I, you know, I'm wondering how these animations are going to work out. Just because of the fact that by this point, you might not have graphics drivers yet. And it might actually look just like that when you're installing it onto a computer for the first time. Because it's using Microsoft Basic Display Adapter drivers. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Huh. Is that the new primary Windows color? That's another thing I want to see. I just hit my tail with my hand. That's another thing I want to see. What is the new default background? A new, like, Windows 10 2004 had a new Windows background where it was all flat. I am a big fan of the initial Windows 10 background, though. That one was nice. But, well, I guess there's only one way to see. Assuming it has a different background, I didn't really think that was, or this was that finished. But so far, I'm being surprised. So it doesn't. So far, it doesn't really feel like beta software or unreleased software, um, except for the part where they botched the Windows logo and the initial installer, so it reverted to the old one. But you know, we're gonna see, because this is it. This is Windows 11. I never thought I would say that. I thought Windows 10 was gonna be it, and I feel like everybody else was under that impression till like a week ago. Wow. Here we are. This is it. What is this? What was that? So that's the new default background. That's either a flower or ice cream. It looks like ice cream to me. But. Wow. Look at that. So let's get guest editions installed. So now we're in full screen mode. It's not full resolution. Which... All right, so this is this is very similar to Windows 10. I'll turn NumLock off. So we're probably going to need to edit the display resolution so it is 1080p. But so far, it does seem better with guest editions installed. But I wouldn't be surprised if guest editions just wasn't compatible. Mouse pointer integration is working well, though. So that's pretty similar to the Windows 10. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, ha, yes, this is Windows 11. We've got, of course, all of our old friends. We've got Task View. Goodness, this is slow. Um, oh, okay, so you have to click on it to close it. Could have sworn it was enough just to click somewhere else before. So let's turn that off. And what should we look at first? Confirm that this is running on Windows 11. So we're going to go to System. I'm glad they didn't change this. About. Here we can see Ryzen 4.20 GHz. 
Nice. I overclocked the heck out of the CPU. So Windows 11 Pro Dev. Installed on 6-15-2021, the day this was leaked. OS build 21996.1. This is Windows 11. We've got sound. Everything's in it. Everything's where it should be. Everything is definitely where it should be. So, I've it's honestly been so long. So taskbar settings. What I want to see is if I can shift it back. Oh. We can't activate. We we can't activate this, because even the KMS servers don't have Windows 10. Don't have Windows 11 yet. So we can't edit the taskbar. We can't edit the way this looks because it's unactivated. Right. Okay. So, can I at least? Well, okay. Let's go to personalization. Right. So we can't choose any of. We can't change any of this either because we don't have it activated we can't change any of this what is this widgets oh it's like dashboard i see oh it is dashboard okay and that's task view this is search now another question if i just start if i press windows key and then start typing so Okay, good. That feature is still there. I use that daily. We got Microsoft Edge on Windows 11. Welcome to the new Microsoft Edge. Okay. Uh, are, are you going to let me... <laughs> oh, okay. So, again, this is running under VirtualBox, so real-world performance won't be like this. So, it still thinks I'm running Windows 10. Well, there's another way to see, is there still CMD? Yeah, we do. So we can see Microsoft Windows version 10.0.21996.1. Copyright Microsoft Corporation, let's see what that looks like on Windows 10. So, hmm, it's actually not really that different. So copyright hard served. So all that's different is the version numbers and this if I'm if I'm correct that this thing is basically just identifying as a different build of Windows 10, not identifying as Windows 11, but it does identify as Windows 11 because we can go into the settings and it's Windows 11. So before I end this video off, because this is really just supposed to be a quick look, I'm going to be the first person to run Minecraft on Windows 11. As far as I know. Whoops. What what do you mean? What do you mean? What? Come on. What do you mean I can't Oh, you're gonna make me do this the hard way. I get it. I'm gonna sell Java first though. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh-huh. We've done it. And it was gonna originally uh, just download the, um, copy of the original Java launcher. But, the, it, after a launcher restart, it decided to work. So, yeah, let's go. 1.17 was apparently released, so let's give that a go on Windows 11. Windows 11! I can say that now. Windows 11, and have it actually be a thing. That's insane. <laughs> That's a really cl cliched thing to say, but that's what it is. It's insane. Huh, okay, so, yeah, I kind of expected that. So we don't have an OpenGL driver, which we kind of need for this. Oh, huh. okay, that's cool. Let's see what's next for Windows. So, okay, one more thing before I leave, though. I can't change the desktop background. I can't even see what the other desktop backgrounds are. So, I, I can't change the desktop backgrounds. I, well, oh, hey, here we go. Here they are. So this is the new, you, reinst you install Windows 11. This is the background. Well, that is it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. This has been different. <laughs>